All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Philadelphia, the GM. I haven't done this in a while, so I don't remember 100% full-heartedly where we let off. Um, as you can see, I guess we're in December. 14-9-3, uh, I actually kind of want to look at the standings. Um, it's been, like, I think, like, almost a month since I've opened this up just because of what was going on. Um, so, so we sit 13th in the league, so we're in a playoff spot right now. Um, in our conference, we're 7th, so... We need to do a little bit better. I don't know what, what's causing us to lose. I don't remember. Uh, maybe it's our goals against. Yeah, our defense is what's causing us to lose quite a bit. Three goals against uh, average per game. So, I mean, I don't really think it's that much our goaltending more than it is our defense. I think our goaltending is doing fine. Because I believe we went on a little hot streak, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I think we went on a little bit of a hot streak. Uh, but Voracek, Hartnell, Simmons, Giroux, obviously, and then Giroux, Hartnell, LeCavier, Voracek. Uh, Point-wise, there we go. Pointing game players are pretty much Simmons, uh, LeCavier, Voracek, Hartnell, and Giroux for us. And then Timonen is down there as well. Uh, let me check goaltender really quickly. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Uh, yeah, so like 3-0 for Emery, so he's playing really good, actually. Um, for us, 10 goals against, uh, save percentage is a 91%, um, no shutouts, obviously, and, uh, no penalty minutes, two assists for Steve Mason, so, uh, da -da 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 -da. somebody said get Gordon Boyd, I believe that's what the comment says on the video, let me look right now, uh, or, you know, Boyd Gordon, sorry, uh, perfect fourth line center for us, so let's, let's look at our lines right now, uh, yeah, that would actually probably round it out depending on how good uh so that way we could possibly get rid of chris newberry so let's actually try to make a trade for boyd gordon so that was a pretty good uh suggestion uh gm options i believe and then trade negotiations trade players all right so let's see i believe he is a washington capital uh, of course ovechkin da -da 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 -da. i'm assuming that he's gonna be down here same thing joel ward wouldn't be too bad of a pickup either Is he not on uh, Washington, or did I just pass him? Center. Huh, maybe Washington dealt him somewhere. Give me a second to look to find out what team he's on, and I'll be right back. All right, so I found out he was on Edmonton, and he has about $2 million contract. 30 years old, uh, $2 million with three years left. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, 79, so I mean, he's not going to get much better than that. I'd rather have an 80 overall player, but, uh, I mean, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. Like, obviously, let's look at his stats right now. Uh, so he's a grinder, fourth line grind for us, uh, six foot one, 220. I mean, shooting categories aren't bad. Puck skills, 81 all around. Senses, pretty good senses. He's got a high discipline, so he's not going to take bad penalties for us. Uh, the defensive skill, physical, uh, his fighting is a little bit down. Um, but his skating is pretty good too. So yeah, let's actually try to make a trade for Gordon. He has two million dollars on his thing on his cap. So obviously we can look at players who um, uh, da -da 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 -da. players who Edmonton is willing to get. So we're obviously not going to give away Ekman Larson because that was a pretty big player. Uh, da -da -da. Who do we have on our fourth line for center? Like we have a lot of centers in <laughs> in. Uh, Philadelphia with Chris Newberry. Chris Newberry, minor fourth line, third line checking forward for Gordon. Um, it would put us over the salary cap, so we'd have to dish off someone else who has a fairly big contract. And none of our centers that would be actually, let me see right now. Scott Layton has a million dollar contract. Yeah, none of our centers are pretty much taking up too much. Uh, Scott Hartnell's the only winger that's pretty much taking up left winger, taking up a contract. Uh, Downey, actually. Let me look at that. 82 overall for Steve Downey. He's a grinder. Only a year left on his contract for $2 million. Uh, defenseman Ekman Larson has a big contract, but he has six years left. Timonen has one year left, so he's probably not going to be on the team after this year. Um, so it's going to free us $5 million. And then we have, I think, part of straight contract that we have to hold on to. Chris Phillips is $3 million. He probably won't be on the team again after this year. Uh, 
Uh, this kind of sucks because there's like not much money that we have in contract wise. Like Giroud is seven million dollars. The Cavier is quite expensive too, but that's five years. So I might think about dealing him potentially a little bit later, like maybe next year or so when he still has a little bit uh, left on him. <laughs> hmm. Matt Reed, Downey, uh, obviously not McKinn, Adam Hall, Zach Ronaldo, G. Rosehill. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Let's see this brown kid. Tyler Brown, yeah, I could throw him in there. And then the league probably was not going to allow it just because uh, Edmonton will have too many skaters that way. And they only want to get rid of Ryan Smith. That kind of sucks. Oh, I don't think this is going to work just because he has that $2.8 million contract and we'd have to... We don't really have much money. To, we don't have a lot of space to get rid of him for Gordon. It would be our only problem. It sucks. All right, well, whatever. We, if we, can, we know that we can go back to that if we need to. Um, let's just see what other teams have on the block right now. So we have Mizeros on the block. And I'm actually going to throw... Up, uh, I'm gonna throw Hartnell on the block and Le Cavier also, just to see if we can get any uh, decent trades for them. Because I mean, if people are off are gonna offer us something good for Hartnell or Le Cavier, I would uh, I would definitely be okay with taking that, just because where the hell is Vinny Le Cavier? There he is. Just because I mean, like you look, thirty one, thirty three. Uh, Mizeros only has a year left on his contract. Scott Narnall has six years at $4 million. It's kind of, I don't think it's really worth it for Hartnell. I mean, he'll be on our team for the rest of the GM if we keep him. Uh, same thing with LeCavier. He has five years left, um, and he's pretty much $4 million. So that's an $8 million cap right there. Mizeros, he might be gone next year, uh, and we might try to find someone to fill his spot. But uh, Shane Doan on the block, $5 million. Uh, Scott Harrington. Actually, this guy isn't that bad, potentially wise. A minor top four defensive pairing. Brian Elliott. Uh, not. Yeah, you know, he probably wouldn't. He wouldn't be that bad of a pickup, actually. Uh, San Louis, obviously, five million dollar contract. Nicholas Jensen is a fairly good trade value. Like that's really old. That's a really old trade block right there. Seth Griffin or Griffith would probably be a, that would be a pretty big. Uh, pick up for us if we could get him uh Rudy Suter Jaguar Horcroft Eric Cole and Whitney so again a fairly old trade block Riley Sheenan he's uh three and a half green stars not not bad Brian Smith Mike Weaver Joe Panoski Mike Ma uh Panthers don't really have too bad on the block I mean if we need that depth we can go to there Matt Cook from Minnesota, he's fairly old, but again, like, I mean, 80 overall, third line, 23, Matt Cullen, Patrick Eliage, Nabokov, Viznoski, and Martinek, JT Miller, hmm, Pronger, Mazeros, Hartnell, uh, t t t yeah, I would like to commit the changes, all right, so we'll see if we get anything, let's go ahead a month, Actually, kind of want to see if, yeah, this we did kind of go on a little bit of a winning streak last month. So let's go ahead. We'll go all the way to the end of December and see where we are. And potentially we'll go up to January as well in this episode. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll probably have to go back and do that. I just forgot. So we lost to Minnesota. Couldn't get the win against the Wild. I think it was overtime loss, though, so it's still a point. Beat Detroit. There we go. Close, close game, so. Uh, yeah, let's do that scouting assignment now. Uh, let's, I don't want to go to... I want to go to... The WHL. Let's see what we're looking at. Uh, six weeks in the WHL for forwards. Because we'll get the defense and the uh, goaltending in the WHL as well. Uh, okay, so... Going to January. So, one-on-one -on -one on the... One-on-one -on -one for the month. We were able to pull out a win against the Dallas Stars. Got a better record than they do, so shouldn't be impossible to do. See if we can get that win. 
No, we lost to the Stars in regulation. Not sure if it was a big loss or not. Uh, this could be a tight game. one nothing win. Okay, that's good to go. Nice to see. Chicago might be a hard team to beat. Yeah, 19-10-4. and four. If we're able to beat the Hawks, that'll be nice. We actually did beat the Hawks. It's actually nice. Two-game win streak. Three games, boys. Ah, lost in a nail-biter. I think it was another overtime loss. I'll, I'll take the overtime losses. Like, I have no problem taking an overtime loss because we still get points for them. Uh, so a two-game winning streak. We're on a one-game losing streak now. Voracek got another goal for us, Drew, with those assists. Washington, 17-11-4. I lost two-game losing streak. We're going back to Washington again. They seem to be a really hot team right now. Two losses in a row to Washington. Oh, that kind of sucks. And they were both regulation losses. Columbus, come on, we got to beat the Blues. Ah, oh, the Blue Jackets. We lost to the Blue Jackets. So, th what is that, four games? All right, at least get a win here. At least get a win here. Come on, win, 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 win. There we go. There we go to snap that. Back to Minnesota. That was a bad slump for us right there. Uh, Beto, oh, that was a big win for us. There we go. That's what I like to see, a 6-1 victory. Nice job, boys, nice job. 19-13-5. Uh, if we lose to Edmonton, I'll be pretty upset. Oh, well, Edmonton's pretty good, so never mind. 21-12-7. and seven. Uh, Overtime, no, regulation. 14 regulation losses. We have two games left, Vancouver and Calgary. Vancouver's still uh, Vancouver is a pretty good team. 2-1 win, and Calgary's playing pretty good as well. Come on, let's get the 21 win. 21, 21! 21 before the month. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> so uh, we lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We lost 8 games in December. We won uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. Went 6 for 8 in December. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at the league right now. Look where we stand. 14th in the league, so we actually kind of moved up a little bit. Uh, 20 wins, so we're right around where Ottawa, Pittsburgh. Um, oh no, we're yeah no. What are we? We're 18th. In the, no, I, I want points. Where is the points? 14th in the league. Uh, Western Conference. We sit still in a playoff spot. With we're one point ahead, one point ahead of Tampa Bay and New Jersey somehow is making massive moves. Uh, so I mean, I, let's look at the player stats for the season. Uh, NHL. Let's see what's going on here. So seventeen goals for Claude Giroux and thirty assists for forty seven points. Uh, Voracek had a pretty much point a game. So point a game players, the caveat kind of turned it like stop producing for us. Uh, Wayne Simmons. Uh, kind of really, he hasn't really produced much for, much for us either. Um, Voracek and Hartnell, that's that first line that's getting us most of our stuff done. I kind of actually want to jump around the lines a little bit, see if that'll change anything up. So let me try that right now. So our first line of Hartnell, Voracek, and Giroux. Let's move Simmons up to the first line. And we'll move Downey down to the fourth line. Uh, Wellwood up to the third line. Keep Hartnell, Giroux, and then Simmons on the first line, and then Matt Reed, LeCavier, and Voracek. And then hopefully that'll get some second line depth with Voracek and LeCavier, because LeCavier is a playmaker to the sniper. Power forward to a two way forward, and uh, ugh, I don't know. We might I might want to do that. Hartnell down with LeCavier, and then keep Simmons down, but then that's two snipers. Um, so Voracek, Simmons up. And then we'll move Matt Reed and Hartnell. Hartnell, Cavier, Vorchak, Simmons, Matt Reed, and Giroux. Unless I did this. Then that. Yeah, let's try that. So, sniper, playmaker, power forward, 2 way playmaker, sniper, 2 way 2 way grinder, grinder, 2 way 2 way and then defense, two-way defense, defensive, def offensive, and defensive and offensive. So team it in. Uh, that's good. Two-way and defensive. Let's actually move Ekman Larson up to a first line offensive and defensive pairing. And we'll move to Z Mizeros there. And then have two defensives in Chris Phillips and Luke Shen on that second line defensive pairing. And then team it in Mizeros. Looks good to me. And goaltending shootout lineup is like that. Goaltending Mason and Emery. Yeah, fantastic. So let's try that, see if that gets any offensive or any uh, more offense for us. And let's go ahead another month. 
And then I will leave up to you guys what to do with the trade deadline. It'll be your decision. So up against first against the Colorado Avalanche, 2-3 loss to the Avalanche. So it's not too good. I think Giroux got both of our goals in that game. Uh, so going up against Phoenix. Come on, let's get a win against Phoenix. See if we can get a win here. Overtime loss against the Avalanche, so it's not bad. Win against Phoenix, that's good. So three points so far. Up against the Red Hot Devils. See if we can get a win against New Jersey. Nope. Uh, overtime loss to New Jersey. That's not bad. And then uh, continues that another overtime loss. Yeah, okay, so these are all points for us. Overtime loss. We just can't get it done in regulation and also can't get it done in overtime. They might even be shootout losses, which would be uh, something that we really can't deal with. I uh, just can't do anything about Tampa Bay. Let's see if we can get a win against the Lightning. I think that was another over. Or that, no, that was probably regulation. And um, got a 4 1 win against the uh, Rangers. So that's not too bad, I guess. Potentially wise. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's try OHL forward. See what we have. Richie Hosang. Yep, we already know who's going to be good in OHL. Let's try the QMJHL for six weeks. There we go. So, yeah, like that was a loss there. 4 2 loss regulation. Overtime, overtime. Win. Uh. So we have all the way up to February 1st. So hopefully get a win against Buffalo. Or another loss against Buffalo. Um, hmm. Nashville. Okay, that's a win against the Predators. So it's not too bad. I mean, it could be worse. Oh, and beat the Islanders. Beat the Islanders. 24 wins. 24 wins. There we go. We're playing the Islanders again. So that should be another one for us. Let's get another win. Once it's up to 25. Well, let's see if we can get it done. Oh, we got shut out. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, God. This is not good for us. We, I don't know what it, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. Holy shit. We shit on the Blue Jackets right there. Like, this is where the team is inconsistent. You know, they come out to play offensively one game, and then just the next game, you know, they're not there at all. We beat Boston here. We've Boston, yeah. So, see, like, the team is really streaky, and I don't know how to fix that. Like, we can go for beating, you know, a team with huge offense and then just go get shut out the next game and then lose the game in overtime just like that. Like, it's it's really confusing how this team is working. Like, I'm not 100% sure. You know, one nothing win. Like, no offense in that game. Um, I'm just going to do this February 1st game just because to see if we can get ourselves up to 30 wins on the season. See if we can get it done. 30 wins on the season. Or 28. I mean, get closer to 30. Yeah, so see. So we won uh, two games. One loss. So 2-1. to 4-1. 4-3. 5-3. 6-3. 7-3. 8-3. 9-3. 10-3. 11-3. 12-3. 13-3. 14-3. 15-3. 16-3. 17-3. 18-3. 19-3. 20-3. 21-
penalty kill is 81 percent uh home record 16 11 and 2 14 10 and 3 in the road uh 6 3 and 1 in the last games uh let's look at the stats stats on the season loading the stats so uh 24 goals for Giroux, 40 assists for 64 points uh, more than point a game player for Giroux, so that's that's actually great. Forty seven for Hartnell, forty five for Borchek, forty for LeCavier, thirty five for Simmons, thirty three for Tamin, twenty six for Matt Reed, twenty five for Mazero. So um as you can see, Hartnell and uh Vorchek have turned down the scoring um in points wise. I mean Hartnell has twenty goals. He's really sitting there right behind. Vorchek is eighteen, but assists uh twenty seven. Giroux's passing the puck a lot more. Uh, plus minus, plus 17 for Matt Reed. Eight power play goals for Claude Giroux. Uh, shorthanded goals and five game winning goals. He's taken uh, 173 shots. And Eric Wawel actually has the highest shooting percentage on the team. Uh, face-offs one. Face-off percentage is 50, 58% for the caveat, 57 for Giroux. Uh, hits. There you go. Chris Phillips. Giveaways. Chris Phillips. Takeaways. Vincent LeCavier. And Braden Colburn's played the most amount of minutes. And Claude Giroux is second. So. Uh, let's look at our goaltending for you guys. I'll look into that for you. Uh, so as you can see, uh, goals against average. Emery has lost us one game and two overtime losses. Two overtime losses from Mason. Uh, 18 regular season losses. So that's our 19 losses right there. Um, but uh, like 28 wins between the two goalies. So uh, shootout losses. So we've won the shootout five times, lost four times in overtime. So our shootout... I, I, our shootout's a little bit streaky. We can't get it done on the true shootout, I guess. Emery's games, two of his games have went into a shootout. So, obviously, the offense isn't pro uh, pro um, producing enough for him. Uh, save percentage is pretty much even for the both of them. Uh, and then four shutouts, one shutout. Uh, there's your minutes, penalty minutes, goals, and assists, and such. So, um, I'm going to go show you guys the lines right now. We're actually going to check the Arondak Phantoms record right now also. So let's see, 22-22-0, uh, so I don't know where we sit in the league for here. Let's just look really quick. Uh, 20th in the league, so we're pretty we're pretty low in the AHL, but again, I'm not really too concerned about the AHL um, as much as I am the NHL. I'm just trying to con uh, get our players in the AHL the best potential overall. So, I mean, our record isn't bad looking at it. We are 28-19-9. and I'm going to show you guys the lines right now. Uh, so there are our lines, Borchek, Giroux, and Simmons, Hartnell, Cavier, and Reed, Wellwood, Shen, and Ronaldo with Newberry, Couturier, and Downey. Um, Newberry is that guy that he doesn't really fit. Same thing with Ronaldo. Uh, Eric Wellwood will be an 80 for next year, so he fits on the team. Um, these are our lines, what we're running with right now. They seem to be doing good for us because we went 500 that month. Our defensive lines, there you go. And uh, if you guys have any ideas for line change, comment in the comment section what you guys want to see line-wise, and I will uh, move it around. Also, if you guys want me to trade for certain people, uh, let me know. Just player-wise, uh, player which player to trade for. Uh, so if you like want to see like LeCavier traded for somebody, be like, trade LeCavier for this, or trade Hartnell for this, and I will do my best to see if it's a good trade. So... Um, that's where we're sitting on the season. We're not doing too bad. Going into February, the trade deadline is approaching. Uh, here's the uh, the winter, the Olympic break. So two weeks out of February, pretty much. Almost three weeks, there's an Olympic. And the trade, uh, trade deadline comes up at March 5th. So um, we have all of February. Actually, you know what? Without Olympic break, really quickly, I'm just going to go and simulate February for us. Because, I mean, it's right there. So I'm going to take care of February as well in this video. I, I wasn't thinking about the Olympic break. So, see if we can get the win against San Jose. There we are. Win against the Sharks. So, hopefully we can get that 30 wins against Colorado. Um, okay, so here's a trade right now, actually. Paul Stastny for Mazeros and Colburn. Um, $6 million contract for Stastny. I don't really think we need him. Uh, I would say that we want more defense. So, um, we would, we'd have to give up Mazeros. We'd have to give up... Uh, we'd be out of contract. I don't know how that would even work. Uh, decline trade. Uh, sorry, Colorado. We're not taking Paul Stastny from you to give you Mazeros. Hopefully we can get the win here. Come on, boys. Let's get the win. Win against the Avalanche. Loss. Matt Molson for Zach Ronaldo. Hmm. Matt Molson for Zach Ronaldo. And a first-round pick this year and a first-round pick next year. 
Huh. Let me look at that, actually. If they were willing to retrain, retain like a million and a half of Molson's contract, I wouldn't have a problem. Actually, I know that I know that we can get a trade for Molson, so I know that they're willing to trade Molson away, so we can go after him for the trade deadline, which is a possibility. So let's get the one against Calgary. Bump us up. Uh, Stastny for Mazeros and Colburn. They really want Mazeros uh, decline again. I'll let you guys tell me if the which trade to go for all around the deadline because I mean we know that we can get Molson, we know we can get Stasny. There's 30 wins on the season, so this should go pretty quickly. In all honesty, um, Mizeros and then a third round pick for Paul Stasny. Wow, they really want Mizeros. Uh, it's just that six million dollars that I don't like about Stasny. Holy crap, are they ever persistent about that, though? Matt Molson. Okay, so this is this is a better trade. Actually, I I don't want to give away a first and second round pick this year for Matt Molson. I would rather give away um, a first pick next year, in all honesty. I'd rather give away my 2014 first pick and my 2000. Or no, wait, this is my fifth pick. I would you rather give away that and that f and Conan. Wait, let me check Conan's overall. Ah, we don't really need him that much. From Matt Molson, if they retain contract, I want to, I want them to retain this amount. Of, I want them to retain half their contract. If they don't do that, uh, let's see if it goes through. I'm not offering them enough in return. I guess I I don't I guess they're they're not really interested in getting draft picks for the future I guess, but they are willing to get rid of Matt Molson. So if you guys want me to trade for Molson, I guess let me know and I will trade for him this year. Uh, same thing with Stastny. If you think that would be a good trade, uh, let me know and I will trade for Stastny. Um, so we're coming up on the trade deadline. That's probably what our next video is going to be. Is just mostly a trade deadline. I wish I could um. I do the video right after this one for you guys, but I do want you guys' opinion in on the video whether or not to trade for which player. So, um, Scott Assignments in the dub or the QMJHL. Uh, so, let's, let's look at goalies six weeks in the QMJHL. That's usually the best place to go for goalies just because Quebec is crazy goaltending wise. Uh, so, that Rangers game is the last game in February. So we knew we can get Stastny, we can get Matt Moulson. Matt Moulson would be a great second liner to have on the team, and Stastny would also be a great second liner to have. Uh, lost to San Jose. Overtime, though. Good overtime loss. So out of 50 games, you know, there that's where we sit, 30, 20, and 10. Uh, so let's actually go look at the stats real quick. I'm going to just show us the team standings, and that'll be it. So 10th in the league. With 30 wins, sitting 18th for wins, 20 losses. We are top 6 in the leagues for losses, 13th in the league for wins. Overtime losses, we are 2nd with 10. And our points, we have 70, so 10th in the league for points. So 70 points. So we're 7 points out of a first spot position. Uh, that's just a couple wins, actually. So it's a tight, tight-knit race. Uh, let's look at that Eastern Conference. We are 6th in the Eastern Conference. We are tied with Columbus. And uh, then there's three points, and then New Jersey. So that's where we sit. We have, we know we can get Matt Molson. We know we can get Paul Stastny. They're willing to trade those players to us. Uh, so let me know if you guys want me to go after Molson or Stastny. I think Molson would be the better player to go after, in my opinion. Uh, just lower contract. Um, I don't believe his potential is better. Um, if you guys don't want us to, the trade deadline is coming up. So that's probably what our next big thing is going to be. Hopefully you guys will let me know what trades to do. If not, then I will take the trades into my own hand and probably try to get Matt Wilson for us just for more offensive uh, line for us anyway. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time.